for, for my last deployment with, with Operation Enduring Freedom, we, uh, very scary time. And in fact, I remember very distinctly, September 11th, I was actually on duty that day in my patrol car with my dog. And we were on our way to Burger King to pick up lunch for everybody else at the kennels. And I went over and I picked up lunch and I was on my way back. And that's when the first plane hit the towers. And I heard it on the radio and, you know, it, it first came out that it was an accident, a horrible tragedy, plane hit. And by the time I got from Burger King back to the, te back to the uh, kennels, the second plane had hit. I got into the kennels and my fellow handlers and my kennel master were all sitting around watching Sports Center instead of CNN, which is what we normally did. And I, you know, got in there and said, "Hey, you need you need to turn on CNN. You need to turn on CNN." And they're like, "Oh, get out of here! No, we're not, we're not doing that." And then the Claxton on base went off, and that's when we kind of the gravity of the situation really hit. At that point, my kennel master turned to me and told me, "Hey, uh, we're gonna we're gonna send you up to Randolph Air Force Base. Randolph at the time doesn't doesn't have a dog kennel, so Lack at, at Lackland we actually supported them. So." I lived probably five miles from base at the time. I jumped in my car and I headed out to go get my go bag, which is all my clothes and toiletries and all that stuff. Got all that and, and same thing it, all over the news. It's just, you know, we're playing, we're playing, we're playing. Uh, on my way back, I couldn't even get into base. Once I got about two miles out of base, the line going in because they had completely shut down the base at that point. We parked a car. I parked my vehicle at, the, uh, at, at a bank that was a couple miles off base and I actually ran all the way to the front gate called a patrol unit to come pick me up and they actually took me to the kennels. Um, at that point I picked up my dog, whose name was Cinda, uh, and they took, they, we automatically took a vehicle, we headed up to Randolph and I was, I was supposed to be there for a week. I was going up to support to do the, the bomb searches and stuff on the gate for pretty much at that point anything coming on the base had to be searched. We had no idea what was going on, if there was going to be another attack or, or, or what have you. Um, about three days up the, one, about three days into it, while I was there, uh, I heard through the grapevine that we were putting together a dog team to send over to to, to the desert uh, to reset up Camp Doha, which is an army ba army base in the UAE. Um, I called my kennel master, and pretty much for me going into the military, that that's why I was there. That that I mean, it's kind of the whole culmination of my career and what I've been training for years to do. So I called him up and said, you know, hey, if we're sending a team, you know, I, I, I want to be the one to go. And he said, well, it's too late. You're actually our, we already had you on the team. So pack your bags and get back to base. So we came back to base and we were put on standby. So for the next probably three, five, six days, we sat at home sitting by the phone waiting to get the call to tell us that we were leaving. Finally got the call. So it was tough. Had, you know, we, we really didn't know what we were going into or, or what was, what was going to happen once we got there. Um, I went with another with a 44 man team and then two other dog teams normally when in the military or the Air Force when we ship when we ship a dog tank team we, sh we ship out in teams of three probably the the scariest time of my whole career was when we, we, had, we had loaded up we kissed our families goodbye we jumped on a, on, on a plane and we're, we're flying over to the desert and at the time I was a sergeant so I had several airmen that were uh, that were underneath me or my troops that, that I have that I work with on a daily basis and as we were getting ready to land and we, we the plane started going down one of my airmen looked at me and he said sarge he goes what are we getting into <laughs> and you look at him and it's i don't know and you, then you lock and load your weapon and the c-130 touched down and they barely even stopped moving the, it, it stopped down and it crawled to a halt where or not a halt it just kept crawling and they kind of just pushed every all of us out the back of the plane and stuff out the back of the plane and the plane takes off